guys welcome you all to my channel <laughs> is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so this vlog i'm bringing you guys along with me on how i was able to apply for my short stay visa in norway so basically i have like a conference coming up on the 26th and 27th of october 2022 now i know you might want to ask me that what is this conference all about so this conference is all about political science and international relations and in in the scheme of the conference what to be talked about we also have like the social networks which brings me to social media right i was opportune to like submit a journal for the social network area of this conference where i talked about how social media has like a growth on small scale business in lagos nigeria so i use lagos nigeria as a case study because i am from nigeria okay so basically and i just want to like give you guys like a brief hint on what the conference is all about and especially for what i wrote in my journal so in my opinion i feel like whether you're a small scale business you small scale entrepreneur or a large scale entrepreneur or you have a small scale business you have a large scale business you are into corporate fame social media is for everyone and i feel like people just have this mentality or idea that social media is basically for business owner or because they have something they are selling or they have a product they want people to buy so they should be the one that are making use of social media if you're in the corporate world, what are you waiting for? You need to sell out your skill. You need to sell out your talent. You need your employers to be able to locate you. And you also need to build like connect of people in the same firm and the same industry with you. Conference and I also submitted my journal for the conference. So if my, if my journal is being approved, I'm going to tell you guys, you know, towards the end of this vlog. And otherwise also, I'm also going to let you guys know how it went, right? So after that and i feel like that is the first thing to apply for your short stay are you going based on invites are you going based on business are you going based on tourists you know you need to just identify what exactly you are actually going there for okay so after that now you know basically you just have to like gather like your remaining documents like your insurance your flights your hotel reservation i'm going to make like a detailed video where i'm going to be explaining like all the documents required that you know you need to submit when you are applying for the visa processing i'm going to have like a dedicated video explaining all the documents required so one thing i'm also going to say about this norway short stay is the fact that getting appointments is actually very easy but for Norway short stay, I'm going to say that it's very easy because you guys, once you get to the VFS website, you basically choose your own day that you want to come for the interview. Can you guys imagine? Like you choose like your own day and then you choose like your time and you can basically like reschedule. So for me, I picked September 28th or thereabouts, which was on Wednesday, but I couldn't meet up because I was not able to like get all my documents ready and I had to like reschedule. But the only thing is that you have to reschedule about 24 hours before the day you want to actually come so look at the way dates is just wasting and why in poland study route to get dates is even very difficult anyways that's how life is for some achieving things are very easy why for some they have to struggle or to also for it basically so my interview day is for 30th of september which is on friday and i'm going to bring you guys along with me i'm going to show you guys how it went and i'm going to bring you guys along you know throughout this whole process so that hi guys how you guys doing so today is the day i came to the vfs office to submit my application for this visa and it's so stressful guys and this is basically what i'm about doing so guys, let me just tell you guys how my day went today. I literally had to come outside three times to print like different documents. Like it was so stressful. My documents were not complete, and I, I'm really grateful for the woman that attended to me because she kept on saying that you know extend your hotel reservation to the end of your stay just to be on the safer side and just to like avoid any form of denial. And I'm so grateful for you know her. So 
I'm done now with all the processing from checking of the documents to payment of your camera and also biometry and I'm like let me do this to you guys I was so nervous today I'm really not going to lie and I am so grateful I'm staying so finally now I am done with the application I'm done with the submission I'm just getting my fingers crossed we will pray that everything works out and you guys know I'm going to bring you guys a lovely way and overall it's a nice experience and I just hope it works out well so guys I feel like there is something people don't even talk about during this process of applying and especially when you've gotten to that point where you are waiting for your results you guys the anxiety is real and you are going to be having different thoughts at the same time i don't know if i'm the one feeling this way but let me know if you feel this way or if you ever felt this way when you were processing it please put it down in the comment section and if you are currently experiencing this now please also put it down in the comment section i feel like different questions are going to be popping up in your brain at the right at the same time am i making the right choice did i choose the right course did i choose the right um country is this the right time how is life going to be over there do i think that being here is going to be better than being there what if it doesn't work out as planned what if it doesn't you guys you are going to have a lot of what if going on at the same time in one head i feel like people don't even talk about how stressful this processing stuff can be on someone's mental health because it feels like you are relocating your life you are making a lifetime decision on relocating your life for a certain period of time i don't know if you guys are feeling the same way but you guys I don't know i just feel somehow like so many questions at the same time and especially when it feels like you have to like pause certain area of your life to be able to accomplish this i don't know if you guys get what i'm trying to say because i've seen people say that oh they have to like stop working they have to stop their job they have to like put a pause on a project you just have to like it it takes decision like it also has to deal with like your mental health to be honest and i feel like if you are going through this now please just take a breath take a breath and just like relax relax okay because you guys different thoughts are going to be going up and especially when it feels like your life is going to be on a pause I don't know if you guys get like a pause in the sense that there are certain things you are no longer going to do or you're no longer to going to go further doing because you are trying to wait for the results like for an example you might be like do i want to really do this I need to wait for the results to determine if I want to continue with this project or with this job or with this business or with this, you know, you have to put that into like your consideration on certain things and the outcome of it will determine like how you are going to move on with your life or how you are going to move up with the next phase of life. I don't know if I'm just like ranting, but I'm just going to say that if you're in that situation right now, please just take a breath and just relax. All is going to be well. It's going to work out well. Um, that is how I feel at this point in time. And I feel like I really feel this way because it's just a week for me to know like my decision. And that is why I feel like whew, the pressure mentally <laughs> It's getting high this last week because I feel like in a week time from making this video I'm going to have like my decisions in my hand if I was being given or if I was not <laughs> In as much as you know when you are going through this phase you have to be positive You have to like open up your mind. You have to be positive that it's gonna work out and I'm also gonna say that try not to like keep on doing your life keep on going like keep on doing things you were doing before until when you get your results at hand. hi guys how you guys doing so today is 28th of october and today is friday so i got a mail yesterday which is on thursday stating that my passport has left to vfs office in lagos and today when i tracked it today it states that um my passport is already on the way, so I'm going out now to meet. So guys, I just picked up the package from the dispatcher and this is what it looks like. So I'm basically going to unbox this. So 
guys i'm going to tell you guys the two reasons why i was denied for the short stay visa to norway the first reason is that i did not justify the purpose of stay they are not satisfied that i am going for conference especially as a nigerian because of the track record of nigerians in their country and they also have like possible doubts that i will not return back to nigeria because of nigeria economy like they will have to like state the reasons i didn't have to tell me that it was because of the track record of nigerians and also the fact that it is very slim for a nigeria who this is your first time of going to a schengen country to choose norway as your first country you get so basically so just because of being a nigerian and also because being a nigerian they have this mentality of you just you won't be able to come back and it is very slim for you to choose norway as the first schengen country to visit you know so that was the reason why i was basically denied i just said i should wrap up this vlog here so if you watched this video to this point thank you so much don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like 